living a glamorous life together during their 10-year relationship, Michael and Kylie Clark were at the center of many enviable glances from fans. But as the years wore on, their fairy tale romance came crashing down. Despite the joy of a stunning wedding and a beautiful daughter, the marriage was plagued with scandals and constant rumors. Here, Now to Love takes a look back at the former couple's journey together before the relationship's sad demise. Humble beginnings Although Michael and Kylie attended the same high school, Sydney's Westfield Sports High, their romance didn't gain traction until many years later. Before striking up a relationship with model Lara Worthington, née Bingle, Michael had a false start with Kylie, who later became his wife. In 2007, before I began dating Lara, I introduced myself to Kylie at a bar in Cronulla. We reconnected over a drink, and as we left, I sent my best mate Steve Phillips to ask for her number, Michael wrote in his 2016 book Michael Clark, My Story. She declined, saying I could come and ask myself. Now I was so embarrassed, I decided to leave it to chance, hoping we would bump into each other at another stage. Luckily for the cricket star, Kylie sent him a message on Twitter following his split from Lara and the Kylie-Michael romance began to bloom. Watch, in happier times, Michael and Kylie Clark speak candidly about how they started dating. Story continues below. A wedding fit for the king and queen of cricket A passionate relationship followed and Michael and Kylie eventually exchanged vows in 2012 in front of just 70 friends and family in a private twilight ceremony in NSW Bushland. Happiest guy in the world, a beaming Michael declared after tying the knot. The newlyweds literally rode off into the sunset after the ceremony, with Michael leading a pony carrying his bride to the reception at Wilkin Valley Resort, which he hired for the four-day celebration at an estimated cost of $150,000. Luckiest woman in the world, gushed Kylie as she shared her joy on Twitter at the time. A welcome addition for a while. Happiness continued for Kylie and Michael and the loved-up pair became parents for the first time when they welcomed daughter Kelsey Lee in 2015. Kelsey Lee was born five weeks premature via emergency caesarean at the Prince of Wales Hospital in Sydney just before Christmas, and an elated Michael told media soon after the birth, it's happened a lot sooner than we expected but it is as exciting as I thought. Both Kylie and I are very happy and I wish our little girl was at home at our house but she's in great hands and she's being looked after well in hospital, Michael gushed at a press conference days after the birth announcement. It's obviously been a real special week for us. Since then, Kelsey and Lee has been the pair's top priority and they have both regularly shared snaps of their daughter over the years as well as thrown lavish affairs to mark important milestones in her life like birthdays and her baptism. The headline-making scandal scandal hit in November 2018 when Michael made headlines for being photographed hanging out on a $16 million super yacht with, his former personal assistant Sasha Armstrong. While there is no suggestion that anything untoward happened between the pair, it was rumored that Kylie wasn't impressed. Of course she's annoyed by the images. What woman wouldn't be? One cricket insider told Woman's Day at the time. Michael and Sasha had worked together for almost five years, with Sasha starting out as Michael's assistant in 2014 and later becoming the executive director of his cricket academy. Rocky romance By the end of 2019, rumors of behind-the-scenes tensions in the marriage were rife. An insider told Woman's Day in December that Kylie's demanding new gig as a house rules judge wasn't helping, especially since Michael retired as captain of the Australian cricket team. Kylie is feeling the pressure financially because she has had to step up and contribute to the family budget, while Michael tries to secure a regular media job or even a coaching role, the source said. Secrets split after months of speculation the couple were on the rocks, their split was exposed by the Australian's media diary in February 2020. After living apart for some time, we have made the difficult decision to separate as a couple, amicably, Michael and Kylie said in a statement. With the greatest of respect for each other, we have come to the mutual conclusion that this is the best course for us to take while committed to the co-parenting of our daughter. The publication reported the pair had gone their separate ways five months earlier and Michael had moved out of their home in the exclusive Sydney suburb of Vaucluse in favor of their Bondi residence. Moving on since calling it quits, both Michael and Kylie were determined to keep tight-lipped about the cause of their marriage collapse.
However, they remained amicable as they co-parent Kelsey Lee, and Kylie shared an insight into her post-divorce life during an interview with Keys FM's Kyle and Jackie Osho. I mean it's weird because we basically see each other every day anyway so I don't even know it feels any different, Kylie said. Kelsey Lee is our priority, so we're just doing everything that is in her best interest. Her happiness is paramount. Kylie added that she has no intention of reverting to her maiden name Boldy as she wants to keep the same last name as her daughter. Friendship is the best consolation prize since the divorce drama settled, Michael and Kylie have forged a friendship that seems to be working well for their family. For the former model's 40th birthday, Michael proved they are on the best of terms by gifting her a bouquet. The arrangement featured red, white, and yellow flowers, which the Dancing with the Stars alumni shared on her Instagram. She paired it with the caption, Thank you, Michael, and my little princess Kelsey Lee hashtag family. Watch, Kylie shows off her birthday flowers from Michael. Story continues after video. Michael spoke about successfully co-parenting during an exclusive chat with Now to Love. My little girl just wants time with both her mom and her dad and that's what we try and manage," he revealed. I think when you've got a child involved, your kid always comes first. Everything else is second to that, so whatever your child needs, you find a way to make it work. I think both Kylie and I have tried to manage that as well as we can. We both love our daughter to bits, and she will continue to be our priority.